how much money does it take to become a doctor in the United States of America? That is, how much money does it take for the USMLE journey? The total amount of money that it takes has changed massively over the past few years. And in this video, I'm going to take you over the latest cost of the nine steps it takes to become a doctor in America. And in the end, I will show you the total cost it will take if you want to become a doctor in the United States. Let's start. The first step of becoming a doctor in the United States, why the USMLE is ECFMG registration. ECFMG stands for Educational Council of Foreign Medical Graduates. This is the main council that allows international medical graduates and students to go from being IMGs to becoming resident doctors in the US. As a part of that, you have to undergo what is called as Form 186 ID verification, which is they are verifying your ID that you are real plus medical school verification that your medical school is verified. So the cost of this is $160. This also includes the cost of notarization. Moving on to the second step, which is USMLE step one. There are mainly two costs that you have to be mindful of regarding USMLE step one. The first one is the exam application fee. The second one is the USMLE step one study resources. Starting with the exam application fee. As of now, step one's exam application fee is divided into two fees. One is the base fee. The second is the international surcharge, which is if you're taking step one outside of US US and Canada. You have to pay this international surcharge for them to deliver that test to you. The latest base fee is $1,020 and the international surcharge as of now is $205. So the total cost comes down to $1,225. In certain countries like India, you have to pay an additional taxation, which is about $200, which brings up the cost of step one to $1,425. The next fees for your step one is for the USMLE step one study resources you're going to need for async step one. Here are the six resources that everyone who's going through USMLE step one buys. The first one is UWorld six month subscription. This is the main question bank for step one. And the cost of this comes to $479 for a six month subscription. The second resource is first aid, which is the main book for USMLE step one. The cost of the latest version of first aid is $65. The next expense is Boards and Beyond, which is the main video series for step one, a three month subscription of Boards and Beyond is going to cost you $149. Pathoma, this is the main pathology study material for the USMLE step one, a three month subscription of Pathoma is $85. Sketchy are visual mnemonics geared towards learning step one material, a three month subscription of Sketchy is $349. The last exam material is the NBME practice exams. NBME is the main organization which is responsible for administrating USMLE and they also make practice exams geared towards the USMLE called the NBMEs. Everyone buys at least three NBMEs. The cost of one NBME as of now is $62. So if you buy three, that would be $186. Then what is the total cost of the USMLE step one study resources? Combining all the costs, this comes to $1,313. Next is the total cost of the USMLE step one. So this would include the exam application fee. This is $1,225 and the cost of study resources is $1,313. And this comes to about $2,538 for USMLE step one. Now that you have given USMLE step one, the next exam is the USMLE step two. For this exam, you also have to pay two fees. The first one being the exam application fee. The second one being the price you have to pay for all the resources for USMLE step two. Let's start with the exam application fee. Just like USMLE step one, there are two fees here. One is the base application fee. The second one is the international surcharge. The latest base fee for step two is $1,020 and the international surcharge is $30. This brings the total cost to $1,250 for USMLE step two. Next is the USMLE step two study resources. For USMLE step two study resources, you're going to need three main resources. The first one being UWorld, which is the main question bank, you're going to need a six month subscription. The cost of this is $479. Next, you're going to need NBME practice exams, at least three of them. This is going to cost you $62 into three, which is $186 with the $62 being the price for one NBME practice exam. The next is CMS forms. Many people ask me, what are CMS forms? CMS forms stands for clinical mastery shelf. There are eight subjects that these clinical mastery shelf forms are made for. And 
out of these eight, almost each of them has three to four CMS forms. That makes the total amount of CMS forms to be 30. So there are 30 CMS forms in existence. I would recommend doing all of the CMS forms because they literally tell you what exactly is NBME thinking and what they are going to probably put on the exam. The cost of one CMS form is $21. The cost of 30 CMS forms is going to be $620. So that brings the total cost of USMLE Step 2 study resources to $1,295. So what is the total cost of USMLE Step 2, right? We have to combine the exam application fee, $1,250, and then the study resources cost, $1,295. The total cost of Step 2 comes to be $2,545. Next, there are hidden fees that you should be aware of for USMLE Step 1, Step 2, and even Step 3, where if you were to extend your eligibility period, which is delay the exam, you have to pay $100. If you were to change your testing region this is going to cost you $90 if you were to reschedule the exam this varies sometimes it's free sometimes there is a price you have to look on the USMLE exam website for this a score recheck is going to cost you $80 and if you want your paper transcript for your USMLE exam this is going to cost you $70 so the total here can go from $70 to a total of $400 after you've done your USMLE step 1 and step 2 you have to write your next exam which is called as the OET or the occupation English test. The reason everyone has to write this exam is to show that you have good English speaking skills when you're applying for residency later down the line. The cost of OET is based upon two costs. The first is the exam application fee. The second is the OET study resources. The latest exam application fee is $455. The study resources for OET they are free. You can go on the OET website. You should be able to get all the resources for free. So the total cost of OET comes down to $455. Now that you've written your USMLE Step 1, your Step 2 and OET, it's time to get US Clinical Rotations or USCE. US Clinical Rotations help hospitals and program directors see that you can work well in the US hospital context. So you know what their policies are, how to treat the patients in the US. And this is very important if if you want to match into a residency in the US. The cost of USCE is divided into six costs. First being the travel visa, second being the flights, third is the clinical rotation application fee, fourth is the malpractice insurance, fifth is the health insurance, and sixth is the cost of living. First of all, travel visa fee. So if you don't have a visa, you would need to get a B1, B2 visa. The cost of getting a B1, B2 visa is $185. Next, once you have received your visa, it's time to book flights. You would need to book a two-way round trip ticket because you have to show the visa agents that you don't have any intent to stay in the US. The cost of a two-way round trip to the US is going to be about $1,200. So $600 going, $600 coming. Next is the clinical rotation application fee, which you have to pay to the hospital for you to be able to rotate there. The cost of clinical rotations can go from $0 when they are free. This tend to be more observerships to about $6,000, which is the cost of very high quality lecture Actives or sub internships. So this tends to be very variable. I'm going to take the average number of clinical rotations a student does for you to get an idea of how much this is going to be. On an average, almost everyone who's doing the USMLE journey does three clinical rotations and you're allowed up to four LORs in your application. The most optimal would be four clinical rotations then for four US LORs. However, since most people do three US clinical electives, I'm going to take about three as the main number here. The cost of one quality elective is at least $2,500. So three electives would cost $7,500. The next cost is of malpractice insurance. If you are working in a hospital-based setting, you would need this insurance to protect you against anything that can go legally wrong. The cost of malpractice insurance for one month is $300. So if you're doing three clinical electives, that would be three into $300, which is $900. The next cost is of the health insurance, which you would need in the US where if you want medical treatment, the cost of paying out of pocket is exorbitant. So health insurance would help you mitigate that cost if you get sick. This is going to be $100 for three months 
for a quality health insurance. The next is cost of living. If you're doing your clinical electives, chances are more often than not, you are the one who's covering your cost of living and not the university. Although there are electives where there is subsidized housing. However, for most students, that generally isn't the case. Cost of living here would include the rent that you have to pay to stay in a particular apartment or Airbnb. Cost of travel, which is Uber, or if there is any public transport, you have to pay for that. Third would be food and grocery. This is going to cost you at least $1,500 per month. If you're doing three clinical electives, this is going to be $4,500 in total for three electives. So what is the total cost of doing US clinical rotations in the US? Adding all those costs above, this is going to be $14,385 for three electives. After you have done your US clinical rotations, the next step is the ECFMG certification, which is you you will finally get a certificate from ECFMG which states that you are on par with American graduates and therefore you can apply to the match. To get ECFMG certified, you would need step one, USMLE step two and OET. Once you have all these exams, you can apply via different pathways. There are six pathways. All these pathways require a fee. The fee as of now is $925. The total cost of ECFMG certification is $925 dollars for all the pathways. The next step is USMLE step three. This is an optional step because USMLE step three generally is written when you are a first year or a second year resident in the US after you've already matched. So it doesn't technically have to come into the cost of the USMLE journey. However, my recommendation is if you are going down the USMLE journey, it's going to be tremendously helpful if you are able to get step three done because program directors love it. Because if you pass step three, that means you're all almost sure to complete your residency. If you don't pass step three in your residency, they can kick you out. However, if you show that you've already done it before you match, that shows the program directors that, wow, look at this person. They've already done step three. They can go throughout the entire residency and I don't have to worry about kicking them out. So what is the cost of USMLE step three? First is the exam application fee. The second is the USMLE step three study resources. So the exam application fee here is the base fee. Unlike USMLE step one and step to because step three can only be written in the United States. And the latest exam application fee for step three is $925. Next is USMLE step three study resources, which you would need to crush your USMLE step three. The first resource is USMLE step three for three months. This is going to cost you $429. Next is CCS cases, which is from ccscases.com. It is an optional subscription, so I'm not going to count it into the final cost. It's $70. So the total cost of USMLE step three study resource is 499 if you count in the CCS cases. If you don't, it's $429. So what is the total cost of USMLE Step 3? That would include the exam application fee, $925, and the study resources, $429. Total cost for USMLE Step 3 is $1,354. The next and the eighth step is the NRMP match. The NRMP match is a platform which allows applicants to connect with programs and vice versa versa programs to connect with applicants. The best analogy I have to explain the match is just like a dating app. So you as somebody who's looking for a wife or a husband or partner, you have to go to that dating app and that dating app is the platform for you to find your partner and them to find you. That is the match. For the match, you have to pay at least four fees. The first one being the ERAS token fee, which is to enter the match. Second is the NRMP match token fee. This is for you to rank programs. Third is the USMLE transcript transmission fee, which is the fees you need to pay to send your USMLE scores to all the programs. And the last is the program application fee, which is what you have to pay to apply to each program separately. So the cost of ERAS token is $165 to enter the match. After you've entered the match, you have to get an NRMP token to rank programs once you interview with the programs. This is going to cost you $70. The third fee here is the US USMLE transcript transmission fee. This is going to be a lump sum of $80 for all the programs, not each program separately. Next is the program application fee, which is what you have to pay to send your application to different programs. This fee is per each program you send your application to. If you're applying to 30 or less programs, this is $11 per program. If you're applying to 31 and above programs, this is going to become more expensive and then becomes 30 
dollars per program on an average most applicants apply to 150 programs so if you do the math let's say we have to first apply to these 30 programs this is going to be 330 dollars once you've crossed this we have to pay 30 dollars for the next 120 programs that's going to be 3600 this is going to come to 3930 dollars so if you look at the total cost of the LRMP match this is going to be four thousand two hundred forty five dollars in total so after you applied to all the programs and you have finally matched you have to pay for a visa either this is going to be a j1 visa or h1b visa j1 visa is a one year visa you have to renew it every year but this is what most applicants get h1b is a visa which is sponsored by the hospital this is going to be a three year visa since most applicants get the j1 visa i'm going to only look at the j1 visa fee for the total cost and then uh, we'll go into the visa travel cost and the flight cost so first of all the visa cost in order to get j1 visa you have to pay 590 dollars for the processing cost to get a j1 visa in order for you to even get the visa you have to pay money to go back and forth to the embassy site which tends to be in a major city this tends to be about at least 300 to 400 dollars i'm going to take the higher end because that's what it generally is after you get your visa you also have to pay for a one-way ticket to the us this is going to cost 600 dollars on an average the total cost of the visa comes to be $1,600 in total. So now that we have covered the price for all the steps, let's combine all the prices. E7G registration was $160. US Assembly Step 1 is $2,538. US Assembly Step 2 is $2,545. OAT is $455. Electives are $14,385. E7G certification is $925. US Assembly Step 3 is $1,354. The NRMP match is going to cost you $4,245 and the visa is $1,600 including the flight tickets. So the total cost of USMLE including step 3 comes to be $28,207. This is the latest cost. And if you look at the total cost of USMLE without USMLE step 3 since step 3 is optional is $26,853. So now that you know the total cost of the USMLE, you can start with this next video about everything you need to know about USMLE from A to Z from USMLE Step 1 to Residency.